We're not so much here to talk baseball tonight. Instead, we're here to talk the Republican National Convention. And as John made mention a bit earlier at the rostrum right now, as we go back to Cleveland live, there's my old colleague, Marsha Blackburn, Congresswoman from Tennessee, completing her remarks. As we mentioned earlier, a new podium for Donald Trump installed and his speech comes up at 1015. Coming out right now, I should point out, is Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon, likewise a former member of Congress. Uh, now, let me welcome in my old pal. You see him weeknights at 7 p.m. via Skype from New York, Steve Malsberg, who is the host of the eponymously named Steve Malsberg Show. And there's a reason I've got Steve right here right now, because it's the news that happened outside of Cleveland. The fact that Roger Ailes resigned as the chairman of the Fox News Channel. So, uh, Steve, you're, you know the heartbeat of the city and the mass media. Uh, your take on the Ailes resignation. Well, certainly it's something that's been rumored for uh, several weeks after Gretchen Carlson came forward, a former host there, uh, and said that she was sexually harassed by Roger Ailes. You had people lining up defending him to the hilt. But reportedly, reportedly, uh, Gretchen Carlson's lawyers had uh, 10 women or whatever who backed up her claims and maybe had claims of their own. Most recently, we got a report. Again, we don't know, but we got a report that when uh, the investigation was taking place within Fox, Megyn Kelly uh, was asked about if she, you know, she had ever been sexually harassed by Roger Ailes. And she reportedly said, yes, 10 years ago, I didn't like the way he hugged me. Now... That might have been the, uh, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, I think the Murdochs were, uh, Rupert Murdoch and his sons were also looking for a reason to get rid of Roger Ailes, uh, unfortunately. I think Roger Ailes, it, it, it speaks for itself what he's done with Fox. He's a legend. He's, he's just, he's done wonderful, wonderful things and made great contributions. And to lose your job uh, under these conditions, and if in fact Megyn Kelly actually said, I didn't like the way he hugged me 10 years ago, then, my God, that's unfortunate. Well, there is a political dimension to this. And joining us now from the Newsmax TV newsroom, the managing editor of the Shark Tank political blog, Javier Manhattas. Now, Javi, there is no doubt that Fox was literally able to capture an audience because the Alphabet Networks and a couple of the cable networks just lean. Heck, they sit over there on the left. Do you believe the Ailes departure from the Fox News Channel will reflect a change in editorial policy? There's concern that the younger Murdochs may move Fox News to the left. That's always a threat. I mean, that's always a possibility. I don't think so. I think the shows, like the, the people who anchor the shows, like Sean Hannity, I think they have uh, their agenda. I think it, Fox is set in its ways. I, any, anything can happen. It's politically motivated, everything is, and politics is very fluid. I think it'll, it'll, they'll stay there as long, long as they, they've been for, for decades because it works. The, what Roger Ailes did is, is, is impressive. He, he built this thing from the ground up. I think it'll continue. I think if they deviate from what he has done, uh, yeah, you could see a seismic change. You could see if they try to go to the left, I think it'll be the demise of, of Fox News, but I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't. Well, of course, Newsmax TV is here, and there's no doubt that we see things the right way. And the right thing to do right now is take a call at 1-877-NEWSMAX. That's 1-877-639-7629. Up to Michigan tonight, where Lynn joins us. Lynn, welcome to Newsmax TV. Hello. Hi. Thanks for having me on. You bet. Um, I just wanted to say, I think, um, I know you're talking about Roger Ailes. But um, uh, I did want to comment on, on um, Ted Cruz. Um, the American people are really tired of Washington, people going to Washington and not doing what they say they're going to do. And I think that's one of the things that really is good about Trump is that he usually does what he says he's going to do. And when Ted Cruz signed that pledge, that was his word. He gave his word, and again, he didn't do what he said he was going to do. And I think that's symptomatic of the whole Washington machine. Lynn, we appreciate your perspective tonight from KPAC, Michigan. Thanks very much for the call. 
Javi, let me come to you on this because you sat down at length with Ted Cruz early on here. And of course, Ted had the reputation in the Senate of being an outsider. But I guess in retrospect, he got out outsidered by Donald Trump. I, look, again, he, he, the, he is the quintessential outsider, Donald Trump is. I don't think anyone's going to be able to match up to his outsidedness, if that's a word. But I, I, Don, listen, Rod, uh, Ted Cruz is by no ways done with. He is, has a, he's got a big career ahead of him. I think he's going to do great things in the Senate moving forward. Again, it remains to be seen what happens uh, at the end in November. Uh, if things change for Ted Cruz in four, four years from now, I think he'll be fine. I don't see a problem with Ted Cruz moving forward. I think, if anything, I think if Donald Trump wins the presidency, he will work with uh, Ted Cruz and vice versa. I don't see it'll be a problem. Well, I, it's just, uh, you know, Mo, uh, Steve, I've just got to ask you about this because uh, you pointed out Richard Vigory, our old buddy, said Ted committed political suicide. Now, you know, we're my, we can remember back in the early 60s, one of the networks had a special, the political obituary of Richard M. Nixon, and Nixon came back to be elected president. But... Really? Do you do you agree with what Javi says about Cruz coming out of this thing okay? No. If Trump is the president, uh, just like every, all of his Senate colleagues, uh, uh, Trump is not going to work with Ted Cruz. There's no reason to work with Ted Cruz. Um, and I think Ted Cruz would be plotting uh, right along to run uh, as a conservative, uh, you know, a hardcore conservative against Donald Trump in a primary. I don't think he's going to acquiesce and accept that uh, there might be eight years of Donald Trump and he's going to be a senator be for a eight years. Um, so, no, I, I don't I don't buy that at all. I think he'll get elected senator of Texas again if he wants it. I think he blew a chance at a Supreme Court nomination, to be quite honest with you. He could have taken the high road if maybe he doesn't want that. Maybe he only wants to be president. But there's no way. People are not going to forget this. This was a Bush League, you know, disgrace. And he embarrassed himself. And um, I, I think it is national political suicide for him. Yeah, it's interesting you use the term Bush League, and I don't see George W. or Jeb anywhere around. Javi, last word on this, 30 listen, seconds. Listen, he may have he may have screwed up the whole uh, Supreme Court nomination if he got appointed, but th he w there will not be a Republican primary in two if, if, if Trump wins, the, wins this time around. There won't be. It's not going to happen. All right. I hope well, <laughs> and J.D., by the way, I yeah. took issue with that hug you gave me earlier. I wasn't comfortable with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. I didn't lay a hand on you, pal. I didn't even I didn't even feign the kiss like uh, like Brother Trump did last night to my old colleague, Mike Pence. Just stay on your best behavior, Javi. You too, Malsberg. We'll have more a little bit later on. Obviously, there is a whole lot going on in Cleveland. Uh, we will have Javi and Steve back, if Javi can mind his manners, keeps his hands to himself. And as you see, the speeches continue in Cleveland as we await Donald Trump's acceptance speech a little after 10 o'clock Eastern Time. More of your calls, more of our coverage as we continue here on Newsmax TV.